Hey, it's me, it's me, it's Brand T here with the Penguin Fanatic Show and BrandThomasArt.com. And today I thought we'd do a nice little black and white painting. Uh, I get so many questions on doing black and white paintings, um, and they're so fun to do, easy to do. You're only using two colors, and it gives you so many things to learn from because you learn value. And that's what I want to do today. So what I've got here is a 60 by 20 canvas, and I've coated it with a thin, even coat of my amazing white medium, which you can find on my website. And I'm using my signature brushes, which you can also find on there. Uh, any purchase you make helps support the shows and helps me uh, help you uh, longer on these videos. So I thought we'd do a nice little detailed black and white painting for you. So with that, I have the colors we'll cross the screen, which will be two colors, and we'll get started on this little painting. Let's go into a little bit of ivory black and because there's already an amazing one on there it won't take much of this but that's a nice little gray sky today put just a little bit on the old two inch landscape brush let's let's go up here so we're going to start up here today I'm probably going to do like a little swirl swirls there we go and get some nice sky going so let's get a nice little sky using my two inch landscape brush just get on a nice little sky okay so now let's take and make a nice little cloud up here today so I'm gonna take a little ivory black on my number six filbert brush just a little bit let's go up here and I thought we just scrub in as a nice little cloud kind of live here just kind of work on your clouds get a nice little little cloud working up here okay now we got our sky done. Let's start working on this little mountain here. So trying to draw in as a nice little shape. Use no filbert brush. There we go. Nice little shape of a mountain. Okay, now we'll just fill him in. Okay, now let's highlight our mountain. I got a nice little gray color here. I might add a little bit more white to that. And I'll get a nice little roll of paint. Around the only edge of the knife. Let's go start highlighting this mountain. Okay, I got my nice mountain shape in here, but right now I'm going to take some of this mid-gray color and just start to put it on here. There's hardly any paint on this, this canvas. You may not hardly even be able to see some of these highlights, but they're there. And I'm going to start working these in, and I'll probably add a few more different layers of mountains. A few different more tones to help in this. So kind of keep working on your tones of your mountain. And... Uh, Let's keep working on our tones here. Probably maybe might even add a little bit more more white to that. Yeah, that's better. And the tones start coming out. Here we got our mountain done. We'll take this nice soft two-inch hake brush. And we'll just soften this down, make some nice and beautiful mist using this brush. It's fantastic. Nice and soft. Okay, I want to go down here at the bottom of this and put some black, uh, put some some shadows in here. So I'm gonna take the palette. I'm gonna go right into a little bit of black right on the old two-inch landscape brush. Nice and easy. Let's go up here and put some that in there. Nice and, nice and easy. I just want some nice. shadows down here because I don't know what's going to go on down here. I'm just going to put some in here and we'll see where it takes us. So what I've done here is I just put a sketch in with my filbert brush and I kind of see like a, a nice little waterfall living in this one. This little painting. With some land up here, some trees. I started scrubbing in some of the trees. You can scrub them into however level you want them to go. Yeah, you want a nice big one up here. Okay, so I'm going to scrub up here and get nice, some nice shapes going. I'm just scrub it in from in to out. Nice tree. Okay, so let's kind of continue to scrub it in and get some nice shapes going. Alrighty, so now we got it kind of outlined here. And all I've done is I just took my brush and I just scrubbed around just to get these nice shapes. So I'll just kind of show you what I've got here. I've got a nice little waterfall coming through here. And we just kind of scrubbed around and 
got all these nice little effects. So now what I want to do is I want to add some highlights uh, just to my my trees. And maybe we'll add a little more detail back up through here. Okay, so all I'm going to do in here is I'm just thinning down some ivory black with a little amazing clear. I'm going to roll on my number two script liner through it to get a nice sharp point. Just like that. Let's go back in here now. Now what I want to do is I want to add some nice little things. So just continue adding these nice details to your painting. They're super easy to do. This painting is starting to shape up really nicely. Alrighty, so let's, what we'll do now is we'll start to um, put the highlights on our nice little details now with our trees. Uh, and we'll show you how to load your brush now. So let's take this old filbert brush and load it into some titanium white. Uh, it's a little bit of gray in here from previous color. Uh, but this is another, just another filbert. I got a couple of them going with me. And I just added a little bit of amazing white to that. Okay, let's go up here. I'm just going to t t touch it to get my highlights to roll right off this brush. It should just stick. Ready? Just let them stick. Your paint's not sticking. There could be a couple problems. You may have too much paint down here where your paint's not thin enough. So Let's just get some rocks in here. I'm just taking a little bit of black on my filbert brush. Just a little bit. And I'm just going to make some much round boulders living in here. Okay, hope you can see it's okay. Okay, just get your rocks in there. Just round your, your waterfall. Just get them in. Need something kind of holding this waterfall back. Okay, and if you get your rocks in, just kind of continue working on getting these highlights in. Okay, so basically what I've done now is we were just starting to work on the rocks a little bit. Now what I want to do is start working on this waterfall just a little bit. Now I have a number three fan brush in my line because of detail work. I love to use a number three because I get some nice things. But if I come into this water and I'm using this brush, I'm going to grab a little gray. I'm going to try to work into this water a little bit. You can even add a little black at the base of this. It makes a nice waterfall. Okay, just keep continue adding. You can add lighter colors and different ways you want to do it. Send a few of these little grassies coming in here. All these rocks. Nicely. Very nice to do those. Right all of those rocks. I can use my one inch landscape brush to add a few grasses. Softer grasses down through here. Then we can kind of take that filbert brush and make some bigger bushes coming through there. All right, so I think I want a nice big old tree living over here. So I'm just gonna zoom one right in here. That's a nice little tree. And I'm just thinning down some ivory black on here. That's a nice tree. Okay. And I can start adding in all my nice little limbs and things to it. So I'll just continue to start adding my limbs. I'm using a nice number two script liner brush. It gives me beautiful limbs. Let's take a little amazing clear with this. And I'm, I got this nice to a nice sharp point. All right, just continue adding your little limbs and you can add as many trees in here as you want to. And on this side, we'll just continue to add some more trees. I like to have a nice big old tree. Maybe he's right off this canvas. Just a nice big old tree. Big monster tree in here. Now this can be a birch tree if you want to. Or you can make another dead tree like I did out there. However you want to do yours. Maybe there's a big old monster root coming off your mom. Big rooters one. So just kind of continue to work on your your tree here. Just just a thin paint. That's all you need. Maybe this old tree here's got a limb that's broke off on him and fell off in that waterfall and carried him away. 
Okay, we've got a little bit more amazing clear to go inside that. Which one's that? Nice little bit right through here. Okay, I think this one's pretty much about done. I'm going to add a few, few more details to it. Just going to add a few tall grasses living in here. Blacks, white, any of those two. Just kind of continue with both those colors. What we've done throughout this whole painting. Those tall grasses here, and we've been everywhere. Just continue adding them. So I'm just going to be adding my signature to this painting. This one's a fantastic one to do. I hope you try this one out. Give it a little shot, and I think you'll really will enjoy doing this one. I'm just using a little, just a little amazing white to sign it with. Amazing white's a fantastic medium for this. Okay. Alrighty, there it is. It's almost signed. Okay. I think I got it. Put the date on here a little better. Alrighty, there it is. A nice finished little painting. Alright, this one here is finished. It's a fantastic one to do. I think you're going to really enjoy doing this one. It's a nice black and white painting. Uh, we've done something a little different on the shows this time. Um, but let me know how you like it. Uh, you comment below. Subscribe. Please share these videos. Make sure you please subscribe. Uh, comment. Like these videos. Uh, let me know that you really enjoy these videos and what we do here. Uh, it takes a lot of effort to make a lot of shows on here, programs. Um, and that's why we offer great products. So if you need products, go to brentthomasart.com, brentthomasartsupply.com. You can check out the brushes I've used in this video, the easels, the mediums, uh, the whole nine yards, just about it, is on that website. And when you purchase something from there, you support the shows, and it helps me create full-length videos. So if you like these videos, remember, please share, like, and subscribe. This one here is ready for an art gallery. So is yours, and I'll see you real soon.